welcome to episode two of the fellowship server thanks for the support on episode one that was absolutely amazing we were not expecting to get that many likes or subscribers or views for our first episode so thanks for that um today we're going to be messing around with some pillagers and some villagers but first uh we're gonna do some base improvements Right, so we've finished building for now because of our food situation is not the best. We keep having to stop our building and get more potatoes and cook them. And it's not great because it's taking us a very long time to do this building. So we're going to be going into the nether now for the first time. Hopefully we don't die. Um, and we're going to be making a little hoglin farm. So let's go. Let's, let's go into the nether for the first time. Whoop. Okay, right, this is scary. For the hoglin farm, the first thing we need is actually 48 of these, and we also need some of this. Are you oh, gonna make it? Close. <laughs> yeah, I made it. <laughs> he jumped out so far. Oh, there's still some yeah. burning. Right, so whilst Tom was offline and I was AFKing, I got all of these chests filled with all of the stuff. So this bottom chest, Tom, is filled with all of the leather we've got from six hours of AFK. So we're gonna have enough leather to make way too many enchantment rooms. Nice. And all of these other double chests are filled completely full of pork chops, every single one. So now we we'll never be hungry again. Very painful job of transporting all of these items back. <sighs> you ready, Tom? Yes. Let's go. Okay, I've paused the video here because we've got to do an introduction into our next part. All we've started here is our villager breeder, which is going to be leading into our villager trading hall to get us some nice enchantment books. Enjoy! This is a flat enough area for a villager breeder. Right, if we want more space for the villagers, we could just do another layer underground. Yeah. I don't think we'll need it though, because this farm should produce two villagers every day, and since we're working around this base for a while. Right, we need a centre point. Where do we want this centre? Well, I do think the actual build should be forward somewhere here. But that, like, it, that could be... Well, it could be, like, the actual spawners here. And then there's, we like, We can a, transport them. Do, like, a, do you know, like, Black, Blackpool... Um, what's it called? Promenade. Could have, like, a promenade thing. <laughs> we just spit them out into the scummy water. <laughs> One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh. Do you want to plant mm -hmm. the carrots? That'd be my pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, there's your carrots. I'm going to just 
do a little border. For example, a swamp biome, or is it just if the parents are swamp biome? People? Oh, that's a good point. I don't know. I think it's a bit of both. Right, uh, that is the center point. Ah! So now, oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Can you get out the water? Yeah. You You can already hear their excitement of being, of being confined in a slightly bigger box. Watch out the way! Move! You know. Okay, we need to come down a few blocks. It'll be here, here. Oh. Here and here. Listen. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, it's so loud. They don't need natural light. Yep, yeah, there's your thingy. Your, your telescope. Yoink. Call me. Well, they get natural light anyway from the glass. Call me, yeah. That's why we change it to tinted glass. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they were, they were, um, they did have love hearts, so it should work regardless. And then they got grumpy. Yeah, but they always do that.
Okay, so we have finished on this build for now, as you can hear. There's a lot of villagers doing their thing very loudly. We're probably going to have to use the silent state pack to silence all these at some point. Uh, but for now, we need some money to trade with them to get our goodies. So we're going to take a break from this build and we're going to go and start work on our raid farm. Nom noms. Let's go, Tom. Well, whilst Tom was finishing off the roof, I was collecting the materials we need for the farm. And as you can see, there's not actually that many for a raid farm. Um, it's a very overpowered farm. So we're going to take all these. Uh, we'll divvy it up between us. Right, I think it's time, Tom. We need to go on our adventure to find... First of all, we need to find packed ice. So, that might take a while. And then we need to find a good spot for an ocean. I think we should just keep going in that direction. No. You, you, it's like you're flying on the water. <laughs> <laughs> you're just flying on the water to me. Oh yeah, I'm, po I'm poking out the top of it so then I can breathe. Big. This is actually a good well, spot to leave. Let's leave. This is not No, it's not. There's loads of stuff around us. <gasps> Beth, Beth, Beth. Are you Beth, killing them? Beth, Beth. No. This is global warming. This is this is actually what it is. Yeah, yeah. The world's not heating up. There's people mining the ice. Okay. They, they want they want to make raid farms. There's a goat. There's a goat. Goat boat. Goat boat. Oh wait. Yeah. Whatever floats you go, you'll go. Yeah. Boat, boat. <laughs> I'm I'm getting in my own boat now. Bye. Yeah, Tom. This island looks good. So are we just going to keep a goat hostage this whole time? Yep. There's like a little docky thing here. Did you bring any of your tools to actually... That's a good mine point. Island? Nope. That's well, I have to go to minus 322, minus 1200. To get two villagers. So, we have now um, got our two villagers. I got the two villagers whilst Tom got rid of the whole island, ready for the build. So, now, um, enjoy this time lapse of us building our raid farm. Let's go. Boom. Woo! Goats in boats. Woo! Goat boat. Oh, you oh. left. <laughs> oh, I was <laughs> No, the boat fell off. No! <laughs>
Okay, so this concludes the end of episode two. We hope you've enjoyed this one as much as we've enjoyed making it, playing around with the pillagers and the villagers. One of the most annoying mobs in Minecraft. Um, have you got anything to say, Tom? I just threw my sword off the cliff. Let's go for that. Bye! <laughs>